that car almost hit his head off. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I, I just took my eyes off the road for an instant. Darling, it wasn't your fault. That car swerved no, over sorry. into our lane. I'm sorry. Are you two all right? Oh, yeah, my. yeah, we're fine, Mr. Wheeler. Oh, that took a lot out of me. I'm really tired now. We've had a long day. Luis, now you say your mother thinks that your father may still be alive. Yeah. She still, uh, still keeps hoping that he's going to return someday. In fact, she lights a candle in a window for him every night. Yeah, maybe it's possible that you know, your father was forced to leave for some specific reason. You know, something might have happened that, I don't know, you know, maybe you don't quite understand. Yeah, I've thought of that. See, the thing is, my father worked for the Crane family. I'm sure you heard of them. We read about them. They're a very famous family. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I doubt if you've read anything about the pain they cause people. That kind of stuff doesn't get printed. What do you mean? See, Sheridan's Alistair Crane's daughter. And you'd be shocked if you knew all the... Terrible things he's done to his own flesh and blood. I'm sorry to hear that. Alistair Crane's a very evil man. In fact, I think he had something to do with my father's disappearance.